for those of you joining us now, uh, I'm going to make you do the name thing again because I can't do it as good as you do. Shin Jung Hyun and the men. It's a lie. And Shin Jung Hyun uh, is considered the godfather of rock in Korea. His first album came out in 62. Wow. And like, so he had, and he had like an old band, like he went through the whole phases, right? And so then like, obviously psychedelic, everything hit. And then he went this way for a little while, obviously. But the I mean, guitar playing was really too, yeah. and like, yeah, the yeah. I mean, his guitar playing had to be good to be like to have you know a decades long worth of work. You got to be real good at guitar, or the first one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like, but again, like this guitar playing is is a little bit off kilter from regular guitar at the time. In terms of rock playing, yeah, it has a little. How would you describe it? You know, like, mm, well, it's not necessarily jazz, but it has some outside notes, right? Right. It's taking some chances that guys were not taking, um, but he's not so. Well, uh, let me backtrack that. Guys that were taking sort of experimental slash weird uh, chances in rock were usually because they weren't technically proficient. They're sort of like freaking out slash whatever. Making noise, getting lucky, basically. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Usually, guys that are a little bit now. I'm not saying like shredders, but technically proficient. They're they're not going to like really go outside the box. You know, they learn the box, so they ain't gonna <laughs> they ain't leaving it. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I fix them that ain't broke. Captain uh, Page, whoever you know, fill in the blank. This guy is sort of like the Clapton Page school like the blues rock sort of thing obviously but he has these little outside notes and ideas that are not that they don't have and a lot yeah i just don't hear a lot of, i was thinking about it today i didn't hear a lot of guys or i'm thinking early 70s rock playing that were sort of remind me of it yeah and it's refreshing right because especially in these long uh pieces uh it it, it gives you it just allows you for a little Those bit more breathing up. room yeah, yeah, yeah. Breathing room, you know, give you another sense of urgency and energy. And uh, and it's cool, you know, it's cool to sit outside the fringe and, you know, poke fun at it. You can tell that this was a CD because of how, how they, the track being nine minutes, like almost like it's almost 10, like 956. And the next one being 2215, the next one 1132. Oh, definitely. This is, some, somebody picked it up from somebody's CD and put it together. So... Uh, this is the best as we could do, folks, today, and it, it's great. Yeah, this is a great, uh, this is a great, uh, wild card sort of choice. This one, uh, I got, I was really stoked about. It. I was not waiting, uh, I was not waiting for a quick reply, and you know, you hit me, you hit me one two punch right there in the corner, but we both came out victorious up in this mo. Well, we, no one lost in today's journey, folks. No one lost, except for our composer who lost time in jail for writing a song about a beautiful country. Correct, correct. But hey, it's not can't win them all. Can't do that.